Uh, guys, greetings and regards to everybody. Uh, welcome back to our face-to-face -face program that we used to have every Sunday uh, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, with your host, Mohamed Ba. Uh, today with us, we have a very, very prominent individual, of course, who is not hidden in the, in the music sector in this country, uh, by the name Honorable D. Jobs. <laughs> D. Jobs, <laughs> welcome to LSTV. Uh, you, <laughs> You've given me another honorable title. <laughs> that sounds funny. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ba. I am very happy uh, to be here with you. Uh, of course, with your people. Thank you. Uh, you people are our people, to be honest. Um, in fact, I cannot talk about uh, my career breakthroughs without the likes of Hadi Jainar. So wherever she is, I am sending my sincerest regards to her. Mm -hmm. And I meant to understand you people work together. So obviously, um, anyone from Hadi Jain's family is Dijab's family, <laughs> you know? So, so thank you very much, Bob. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Uh, Dijab's just a brief. Yeah. Uh, we, we wouldn't want to delve into to that, but just a brief synopsis, just a brief biography yeah. of Dijab's. That's who right. Is, who is D. Jobs? That's right. Just a brief piece. Thank you very much, sir. Um, D. Jobs, a humble person um, who was born in Fuladu Boraba okay. um, in the late 80s, and then I uh, grew up in Brikama. Uh, that is where I went to school. Kindergarten was inside Kabafita Primary School, Kinder of Botrop Junior Secondary School, uh, and then to Nusrat. Um, I enrolled in Nusrat High School in 2001 and completed my senior secondary education in 2003. Um, you know, from 2003 uh, down to 2008, 2009, I spent most of my time in youth activism. I was a very active member of Lenehan Society, mm -hmm. uh, but again, I coupled my youth activism with uh, my tertiary education, mm -hmm. um, you know, there in I got involved in the music industry. So um, I was that person doing so many things. In fact, my passion for music um, started in Lenehan Society uh, because we used to have uh, miming platforms, uh, miming occasions, talent showcases, and all these things. Um, so there, I have passion you know to either sing or support the little ones who were miming the songs of other artists within the gambia and outside um, that was the time i met up with sd so basically uh, my career as a music businessman started with sd and a lot of young people at the time from Brikama, you know who were so much um, interacting with me and then uh, these were young people that um, I, I, I groomed at one time and they are people that I watched grew up. You know, so many of them, the likes of Samsid Infati, you know, um, Mariam Kholi, um, DJ Talk Life uh, at the time, you know, so many of them, so many of these youngsters. You manage ST uh, from February 2010. To August 27, 2017. Yeah. And January 2010, ST dropped his first local mix album mm -hmm. called the, the GA on Fire. Yeah, right, yeah. Alongside with P Mark Benjamin and follow up a single album, Dara Dudoy. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, Adia, something like Adia 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 Adia, Adia, yeah. 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 which of course gave ST an attention from the public, you mm. know, from yeah. the public afro yeah. rap star. Yeah. Uh, March 2013, so ST debut Distinction. Yeah. And in Distinction, mm -hmm. your name was mentioned. Yeah. Uh, ST <laughs> featured renowned artists, yeah. you know, the likes of Mandimuri, yeah. uh, Nene Suso, Samboda, Unstoppable. Mm. Then in December 2013, mm. Alin Domo. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But unfortunately, yeah. things fall apart. Mm -hmm. What happened? That's right, but um, usually I'm a person that <laughs> since I uh, since I is, I had that uh, bitter encounter with uh, VM, mm -hmm. you know, I will call it bitter. I think that uh, that is the most viewed interview of D jobs in this country. The encounter that I had with 
BM, you know, sometime in March last year. Um, regarding my career as a music businessman, my capacity uh, as ST's former manager, um, it's very obvious that you cannot mention um, your, 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 your career in, in the music industry, all the breakthroughs and all these development successes without mentioning where you started. Mm -hmm. So, but then I don't want to give relevance to uh, my times with, with SD, you know, <laughs> because I feel uh, let bygone be bygone. Mm -hmm. I feel I am at another level. Sure. Um, that was just a startup point for me, you know, where I got involved in the music industry. But you know, you I guys are, are now public figures. Yes, yeah. ST is a public figure. Yeah. You, D Jobs, you are a public figure. That's right. Of course, people ought to know. Yeah. The music industry industry yeah. Uh, ought yeah. to know. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. You groom ST. Yeah. Everybody knew you groom ST. Mm. You put something in ST in yeah. one way or the other. Very well. But then mm. suddenly, suddenly yeah. things just fall apart. Well, uh, you see, an individual's perception of an event is unique to that person. Okay. Uh, people can change over time uh, because of um, certain influences. And sometimes we don't pay attention to whatever um, external force that would make an individual to change. Um, after coming a long way with people uh, that have been there to support him, mm -hmm. like you said, he, he is one of those that I groomed, and so many other young people, young people from Brikam. Uh, but then, uh, um, every job relationship have an end point. That's what I believe in. Uh, we started from a very rough level, even before we set up his management in 2010, um, where I picked him, where they began. Hey, we first met in 2004. Um, Lenehan Society brought us together. The, the hurdles uh, that we've kicked through and together, the platforms that I've introduced him, you know, the Fural shows, the Open shows, and so many other platforms, him and so many young artists that were coming up because of my passion for the industry I supported all of them and then I guide you know all of them uh, to certain level so um, basically he reached to a level where he felt you know he definitely want to go alone so um, we had to respect his decision uh, he unleashed that later to us by then I was I wasn't the only person there I was there with the likes of Sultan somebody who I also brought to the team you know and, and other DJs that were with us and other officials that were you know in the management and when he said he wanted to relieve his management well we, we respected the, the decision so um, though there were so many brouhaha's regarding why he had to um, end everything example you know exactly you know example yeah the brouhaha's were yeah um, uh, D jobs um, has mismanaged his finances, uh, and then the others were saying, you know, because of um, Gamsel's endorsement deal that I have lobbied for, um, that's why we, we we parted because they, they they understood very well that Gamsel has given out a lot of money, and this was in 2016. So here, in you know, everybody was saying because these are things that you would hear from the grapevine, okay. you know, wherever, 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 uh, whether they are realities or not. Um, wouldn't even be a bigger concern to DJs, but then uh, what I understand very well, uh, this was a written letter that the uh, uh, the guy, you know, wrote to us to say, I definitely want to leave my management because I feel we are in, you know, to so many things right now, so I feel I need to be alone. So it was definitely um, a, a very clear indication. So uh, I do have that letter still with me. So I said, okay, I respect the guy, the guy's decision. Now I am moving on. In your view, yeah. In your view, this is the boy that you groom. Yeah. This is the boy that you do you sell to the world. Uh, just from the blue, mm -hmm. he serve you a letter yeah. that he no longer need, need your service. In your view, mm -hmm. what led to the termination of your contract? Well, well, well like I said, uh, um, Ba, uh, you see, growth and development sometimes would bring along um, confusing situations attitudinal changes, um, relocations, and betrayals. You know, I feel where we started was a very, very rough level and where we brought him. Um, obviously, um, 2017, you know, had definitely found SD in his prime in this country. Like I was telling a guy that the Alindomo levels, you know, his pinnacle, uh, basically found DJs there. 
the dissension was in 2013. Mm -hmm. So you cannot talk about breakthroughs by sidelining the levels of the distinction, the levels of Alindomo and all the other songs, the Respeco and all these things. Uh, you know, um, we were flourishing, uh, money was coming, um, huge successes, progresses, you know, um, concerts within the Gambia and outside the Gambia. So me, I believe because of all these incentives that we are in and, you know, at a certain point he feel um, he was definitely there and he could also decide to be alone, you know. So um, in my perspective, I think that is what happened. Uh, when you reach to a level with people, when people have devoted their time and energy to bring you to a certain level and you feel you reach to a level where you, don't, you no longer want to have them around you and you are the major firm, you are the major individual, you are the major brand, you know, I think people should not lower gaze at that. You know, as a professional manager, you have been hired or contracted to work with an artist. So the artist is the brand. The artist is, is the major company. So whenever he decides that he don't want to work with you, based on reasons reserved or reasons that he want to manifest, you have to respect it. So I don't, at the time, I don't want to waste a lot of time trying to find out what really happened. A lot of people that work around us, you know, also said different things. Somewhere like, oh, this is a major betrayer because but, he reached to a certain level and average, he want to go. Average people within the music sector, average Gambians are with the concept that ST likes money, DJs likes money. <laughs> These two can't work. Well, money separated you people. Yeah, well, is that true? Well, uh, rumors, grapevines, perception of people, uh, um, social platforms, public chatter, you know, whatever one, one wants to say, one can spew it out, you know. But then one thing I know, um, I have tried a lot to establish, you know, SD and his team proper. Uh, the company ideology, the investment ideology, the networking, and so many other things. Um, even the rebranding, the Brikamaboyo ideology, the representation of where we come from. All these were things that I, uh, um, it, you know, supported. You know, and I have regards for all these things because I believe uh, these are major aspects if we want to grow. So, um, yeah, there is nobody on, on earth who don't like money. But again, mm -hmm. money is something but not everything. And I keep saying this. In as much as DJ likes money, mm -hmm. somebody else is likes money, else he likes money. What is important here is mm -hmm. we have to be so much careful for money not to separate us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in, in terms of many monetary gains, I mean views can change, philosophies can also change, new attitudes can pop in, mm -hmm. people can change overnight mm -hmm. because of monies, because of incentives, because of diamonds and treasures. Mm -hmm. So this is why I said it initially mm -hmm. that people over time can change based on the ST change that over they time that you did not recognize initially when you started with him. Well, that's, that, that, that's, that's the reality. That's the fact. Yeah, yeah. And I respect and the fact that he changed, changed over time. He and then, changed over time yeah. because of the financial support that you people were gathering from different sources. He felt like he's having money and now most of the finance has been controlled by you people. <laughs> he felt dis dissatisfied, correct? <laughs> well, uh, possibly. Okay. You know, I cannot preempt whatever that <laughs> he, he believed in at the time, anyway. Yes. Okay, uh, we understand you were not contracted in around 2018 because yeah. you parted with ST mm -hmm. in 2017. Yeah. Uh, 2018, mm -hmm. you were not contracted. Yeah, I, I decided to take a break. You decided to take a break? Yes, you know? from the industry. Okay. Uh, you know, um, around that, mm -hmm. several artists approached me. Um, major artists, you know, approached me regarding managerial contracts. And I said, I definitely decided to take a break because I was completing my program in public administrations. And this was a nine month program. So I definitely need to focus, um, you know, on that studies. I don't want to couple that studies with anything. And I remember this was exactly what I told Sol. So he was also um, one of the first people um, in, in the country that uh, approached me for us to work at the honor of the uh, uh, biggest record level in the country, Jollof Arts Entertainment. 
so um, that happened but then I like I said around 2018 no from 2017 to um, sometime in July or August in 2018 um, I decided to take a break I think my break started in uh, sometime in September 2017 to um, July 2018. In fact, I couldn't wait um, entirely for my program to finish up. I had to take up the job as contract. I think some two months before I completed my program in public administration. Yeah. But then looking at the the uh, the, the bio, uh, you left uh, ST 2017. 2018, you you wanted right. to venture in. in to studies. Yeah. Uh, no, no, 2017. 2017. I started my, pro in fact, I started my program in, I think sometime in tw 2016. 2016. 2016. Sometime, sometime in December, 2016, yeah. So you were fine with that? Yeah, I was Don't very you feel disappointed? Don't you feel grieved? No, no, yeah, with yeah. The, with the breakthrough? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, one, one, no, no, one thing for so bad. Mm. Okay, I may feel very disappointed because we started from somewhere and then we've spent more than a decade together and I have definitely used my meaningful time in bringing up the kid from a lot of talents in Brikama. Uh, the national recognition was that it was not definitely an easy thing for one to do. So basically there was utmost commitment and focus in the way um, I was trying to you know uh, bring up ST because uh, at the time I did not want to couple his responsibilities with anything. So I, at that point I will not lie to you I felt um, very yeah, very much disappointed, felt, grieved and betrayed. betrayed. Exactly. But then that was in the reason why I decided to take break. I feel um, I was around the end point of my program and I definitely need to focus yeah, to finish up my program to better take my time. Because one thing, uh, but I have so much passion for this industry. You know, so I don't want one unforeseen situation or one unfortunate incident to discourage me entirely about all the opportunities this life has to offer to the jobs. I mean, yeah, you have the education, you have the experience, you have the connections, you can have bigger contracts, you know, apart from the first contract. So the that jobs, was it. A lot of artists called you to manage them. Viper among them, Sasugam, Magnificent Joe, MC, including Nyancho. Yes. Why do you choose Nyancho? Well, uh, Nyancho is somebody that I like. And then, <laughs> you know, uh, me and Nyancho is not only Jollof Arts Entertainment that brought us together. You know, I found Nyancho in Jollof Arts. This was in 2018. I will come to that. But before then, we first met in 2014. You know, this was when he emerged. And um, he came with a style so unique. Um, the choreography, I mean, you, the, the epic dances, the entertainment, you know, it was something um, incomparable. So before I met Nyancho proper, he was one of my friends in Brikama that first informed me. In fact, like he told me, he said, my information should serve as a wake-up signal for you because you are managing a single artist who can only rap but cannot sing and dance. And this was the time when I was working with Esti. This was what the guy told me. I mean, his honest opinion. He said, he said to me, there is this boy that image from Bakau, Nyancho. He came with something that is unique, choreography. And he told me, DJ, you definitely need to buckle up properly. You know, and then hey, don't lose yourself because the style that this boy came up with can definitely take your artists away from the competitive line. He, can, what he can dance. Take us. He, he, he can, can dance. dance at the same he time. can sing. Dancing. He can rap. Mm -hmm. He can choreograph. Was this four the, qualities was in this one the, artist? Was this the yardstick that you used to measure to to to, to pick Nyancho out of the lot artists who invited you to manage them? Not actually. I love the choreography that Nyancho is doing. But again. Uh, Nyancho's incomparability when it comes to culture, when it comes to tradition, when it comes to symbolism and sowing of the Gambia. 
you know that definitely makes him to makes me to yeah i mean like nyancho you know because i feel uh, nyancho has some unique qualities that definitely makes him to be completely different you know that made him stand out and that's the reality so um you know i got that info and i had to go to bakao to conduct what i call competitor audit on nyancho to know who is this nyancho proper and i watch his performance in namalama so over time you know just to call it short this was in 2014 <laughs> that, what do you say to the suggestion that nyancho gave you more money than those artists who book you to manage them then you you, you choose to take nyancho than those artists no no says. no that, that's the fact of the matter in fact um one of the reasons uh, that made me choose him was based on the economy which is the reality okay. uh, the monetary benefits because i know nyancho um, if anybody should invest in him obviously he will bring you the millions that's the fact so um along the line i don't definitely want to uh do i'm that person who don't want to be selective between artists every gambian artist is a major artist and i love everybody i love all the artists but yo i definitely had to have higher flyers for nyancho in terms of work relationship because of uh, um, several reasons you know i talked about the culture the traditional awareness um, nyancho's ideology over the identity of gambia in terms of his crafts of course monetary you know nyancho a time invested in helping him is a time well invested that's the reality so i decided to choose nyancho <laughs> Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Nyancho yeah. was quoted saying in twenty uh, in twenty fifteen August. Yeah, uh, he was asked, uh, "What will you want to achieve mm -hmm. as an artist?" Yeah, uh, to be the first that quote. Mm -hmm. He said, "To be the first Gambian artist mm -hmm. who will go on tour mm -hmm. around the world mm -hmm. and raise the flag high mm -hmm. in the music world." That's right. I will also want to leave a legacy in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Another wish that I will I want to do is to build mocks. Yeah. Did Nyancho did that? Yeah, right. In fact, uh, uh, we made a post on his on his Facebook account just some um, a couple of hours ago uh, because we had an engagement today in Bikama Misira. Um, young girls um, form Nyancho Kunda in Misira, and they are very religious people. Um, yes, to build mocks and to support religious schools you know um, is part of our plans in fact the police old caravan also has so many other um, eight aspects you know one of these is eight aspects is the the building of mugs okay. and then the the the, the, the support the augmentation of those that are in religious fields mm -hmm. you know we want to see more religious schools in this country mm -hmm. we want to see more mugs you know and we also want to see more 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 more, more churches in this country it's a secular state so we want to support this guy said, houses. this guy said it yeah. when he was very young in the music industry yeah nyancho is now not an upcoming artist yeah. nyancho is he's a major he's artist a major he's a artist big artist in this country yeah uh, an upcoming artist who had the dream yeah. by now will have think that he have set up all those things yes as a manager yeah yeah we have look uh, but i will tell you this nyancho have been helping so many needy children in this country particularly the school going children um, since in 2014 nyancho has established a foundation um, that has entirely been supporting school going children um, he is that artist that would go to schools and perform there for gratis and whatever money that they generate from gate taking he will give it back to school administrations for them to support needy students he has been doing that in this country even before i came as his manager still now you know um the, the venture is from uh, is uh, profound you know we are not losing in terms of um, charitable ventures still now we are giving our support to people that definitely need it uh, yeah suggestions are made did you transform nyancho mm -hmm. uh, 
Nyancho started his music in 2009, yeah. I see. Mm. Uh, then a lot of people said he was involved into this guns, dong, dong, and yeah. the like. Yeah, yeah. And this yeah, yeah the guns for life. The, 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 the arrival of D-Jobs yeah. really transformed Nyancho. Yeah. How was this journey possible? Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, Nyancho began his career as an artist, uh, as a dancer, mm -hmm. you know, um, from, from rough niggas. Uh, twin brothers JJC you know um, who were in fact Nyancho's uh, um, dudes or genius that he groomed you know so um, in fact before he became an artist Nyancho has already been that popular person around uh, his vicinity around Bacau because he used to be the greatest dancer in this country up till this moment in fact he is the greatest dancer so um, he began as a dancer and then he was going to most of the, in fact, he went to attend most of the floral shows in town, but it's, it's definitely normal for one to do that at the time, you know, because those were major platforms at the time, open shows, floral shows, you know, um, dance competitions in, in school halls uh, and, and other venues. So he was involved in all these things until he became um, a, a proper artist in 2013, though his, his pinnacle, of course, his greater breakthrough was in 2014. But then the transformation process, mm -hmm. Basically, Nyancho has worked a lot, even before the coming of D-Jobs. Okay. You know, because uh, the Haramo in 2014, Dindinyongo, mm -hmm. Apachaki, you know, these were hit songs before the coming of D-Jobs. In fact, the Haramo, Haramo uh, yeah. I think uh, we, we once saw, he was <laughs> awarded by Jame, yes. that Haramo. Nyancho, he got a presidential merit from the former president. No artist has ever gotten that in this country. Presidential merit from Jame because of his um, incomparability as the greatest entertainer in this country. The way he performs, his capacity as a great singer, great rapper, great dancer and great choreographer. And do you know that Nyancho, his incomparability is in the fact that he is a great entertainer. The dances, the group dances of Nyancho, very coordinated, well organized. Not every artist can do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, now we come to the uh, the most talk song, mm -hmm. the Poliso. Yeah. My the time. Poliso album. <laughs> <laughs> My time. The Poliso album. Yeah. Is your major project? Yes. Or one of your major projects? Yeah. Uh, Nyanjo's Poliso album hits. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. You know, it is everywhere on yeah. TikTok, on YouTube, on yeah. Instagram. Poliso, yeah. what came to you guys' mind? What came to you, your mind or Nyancho's yeah. mind? Yeah. Poliso, yeah. what happened? That's right. Uh, but when I came as Nyancho's manager, uh, after establishing the different approaches uh, that I introduced mm. to rejuvenate Nyancho, because at some point we cannot deny the fact that he was out of the sea, mm -hmm. you know, for some couple of years. So when I came uh, as his private manager, the first thing that I did was to bring in the so he many. Was, sorry, I yeah. have to cut you. Yeah. He was out of the scene. What do you mean? Yeah, well, by that I mean he was a bit silent, you know, for one or two years okay. uh, because of you know certain reasons but then when the i came, management wasn't proper yes exactly you know he was he, i mean he wasn't having proper management at all and Nyanto would say that everywhere that uh, when d jobs came everything around me changes so when i came i realized very well that people of the gambia miss Nyancho, and everybody was asking for Nyancho. that's the fact of the matter and not every artist can have a great comeback i think Nyancho is the only artist in this country that in fact had the greatest comeback because of the advent or the intervention of d jobs so I introduced the approach condo, approach dominion, approach octopus, approach gorilla to rejuvenate Nyancho. So aside of or devoid of all these approaches, I also gauge or conducted a research on Nyancho's career regarding who are his fans. Now I realize very well that most of his fans are from the security fraternity so i at some point i said but why is it that the police the military the fire service the immigration i mean all are like apachaki 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 i mean what is really the cause of this i understand very well that nyancho's father mm -hmm. is still serving the police 
Nyancho was born in Fajara military barracks. Nyancho's biological father. Father, yes. Nyancho's biological father is yes. still serving the military. The, the, yeah. No, no, the police. The police. And he has his uncles, you know, and other brothers in the military. You know, I mean, the dominions in Nyancho's family are security men and women. Yeah. So I said, okay, this is genuine enough for us to dedicate a project to the security men and women of this country. The bad reality of Nyancho, um, Nyancho's trace of ancestry, the warrior ideology, you know, his name being Nyancho and where he grew up. So, I mean, uh, around that, we went to the police headquarters to look for a clearance. By then we have staged the Exodus captivity in Brikama. In fact, this was the first event that I have um, organized for Nyancho in Brikama. So we went to look for clearance um, to be able to stay that event in Brikama. So we were in police headquarters when I was there observing the interaction of Nyancho and the police officers. Anybody that come would be like, you know, Nyancho, Apachaki, you know, you would see officers say, no, I mean, the chit chats, the interactions, um, the chants, Nyancho, Nyancho, Nyancho. I said, look, uh, Nyancho, I think we should definitely come up with a platform for the military, the police, the immigrants, I mean, the security men and women of this country. Yeah. I said, the album project that we are talking about, the album project that we have bigger platform, uh, plans for, should definitely have something to do with the police. We should celebrate them. And I said, why not we name the album Police Soul? This was what I told Nyancho. So you initiated yes. the name. So <laughs> instantly he also supported the idea. He said, Djobs, you are very smart. This is definitely a greater concept, the police hall, because I was born in Fajara, Fajara. military barracks. I found my dad, you know, I'm serving the state. My uncles and my brothers, they are all in, milit in the military, so I'm in the police. So I believe this will definitely be the greatest project ever in my career as an artist. Police hall. Now, from that very moment, you can see how yeah. the name police hall came in, in, in our police headquarters. So from police headquarters, we came, and then we called a meeting to say, the album project will be called Police Hall. That will be the title of Nyancho's debut album, Police Hall. So we walk around it. You know, there in, we brought in so many ideas, and then developed the ideas. Because one thing that I told uh, VM was, the day we had this chit chat with him, it was after our first press conference, I said, bring in ideas can even be the duty of the artist or anybody that walks around or walks in Nyancho Apatiki Entertainment Company. But then, development of the different ideas or a major idea is the responsibility of the general manager, that is the jobs. So when we suggested the album to be titled Police Hall, mm -hmm. I also walked around the title of the album Police Hall. How can we develop the idea? How can we brought, bring in you know, all the activities, all the side attractions attached? So there comes the Police Hall Caravan, okay. the Apataki Charter, the Police Hall Tournament, you know, so, so all of them attach. <laughs> all of them, them attach to the police hall album achievement project. Yes, police hall, yeah, police, police hall caravan, caravan, police hall tournament, police hall tournament, apache kichata, apache kitaja. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then here comes yeah. you release the, the police hall. Yeah. And the at the most popular album ever in this country, police hall. What yeah. is your yardstick? Well, how do you measure that? <laughs> well, but how do you measure that? Did but police hall song um, is the most popular song ever on social media, particularly on TikTok. Those that are watching us would definitely attest to this reality. How every Tom, Dick, and Harry has took up a lead mantle in the promotion of the police hall craft. Well, the nobody was, can this is LSTV one <laughs> video host uh, Mohammed Bang. Okay, here we are. We are with the, uh, the manager of uh, yeah, the manager of uh, Apache Nyanjo yes, currently. He said, Poliso album is the most watched 
album in TikTok. Why? Yeah, the most uh, watched video. The most watched video. The, the, the most popular album the on social popular media. Album. The most well, popular album the in, most in the Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> online and online. <laughs> but I think you, you're not telling us yeah. what are the yardsticks. Well, how do you read that? Do you have more viewers on YouTube? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Do you have, uh, do you have uh, more financial support yeah. in relation to the I, album? I, I am coming to that. Okay. The police all video is because because we have the, 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 the highest viewers yeah it's 28 days oh boy yeah yeah in terms of youtube viewers i am i yes i am coming i am coming because we should not also lower gaze at the growth aspects okay uh, because these are these are processes and stages the police will video is 28 days old do you know that mr yes. bass 28 days. I go. saw that yesterday you posted very good. like that. Very good. 200,000. Very good. Uh, viewers. It's around 200 and 280, no, 296,000 views on YouTube. In 28 days on YouTube. That is a greater breakthrough. You go and check um, other videos of other artists and other videos of Nyancho, in fact. You know, one year, you know, oh, 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 um, a year ago or oh, two years ago, they have not even reached to the growth of police in 28 days. Now, the beauty about this song, <laughs> a lot of people, yeah. especially our men and women in uniform, yeah. they all saw themselves in this song. Yeah. But again, yeah. how were you guys able to manage to involve the government? Because yes. In the video, yeah. we saw the spokesperson of the police. Yeah. You went to the police. Yes, and yeah, my very good friend. I mean, uh, we saw. <laughs> Oh, the traffic, this guy, King Collie. Yeah, King Collie, yeah. So all these people in, in the video. Yeah. How but um, there are three elements of government. Okay. The judiciary, the legislature, and, and the, the executive. executive. Police all are part of the executive. In fact, uh, I, I, like I, I told this guy, said, the most disciplined organization in any setup. In any human set setup, are the police because these are people that survive based on regulations, orders, and commands. So there cannot be any human being more disciplined than men and women in service because of the orthodoxy or the mood of operandi. So uh, we said police all because we understand they are the most important but the most marginalized. That's the reality. That the most marginal. marginalized. That's the reality. They are the good guys. When we were having the second press conference, I said, in Abraham Maslow's pyramid of needs theory, mm -hmm. the first point is physiological need. Shelter, good life is key. How do we inform the presidency in disciplined fashion for them to mainstream the issue of men and women in, in uniform? without spewing tantrums on them. We can talk to the presidency in disciplinary fashion. And that's exactly what we did by celebrating men and women men in uniform. uniform. We said police all because we understand there has not been cordial vibe between the police and the civilians. How do we bring in that cordial or mutual vibe? That's this is an important that's question. That's important. How do we engage the public? into issues or discussions around public or community policing. You heard my, yeah. my, my outro in the song. Yeah, so. I did mention that Apataki Charter mm -hmm. will be a platform where we will talk to the masses about public policing, about police brutality, because the masses also are grieved at some point regarding so you have a lot on store about this police soul caravan so you just release this song yes launch this song the, the song the, 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 the album launch the, the album, album the police album the, and also have the caravan which is also going to be launched the caravan is the activity entourage okay that is why i said within the caravan oh from the carriers the major carriers of the caravan, we also have the Apataki Charter. Or, oh, if we have any boss within the caravan that have a boot, the boot of discussion is the Apataki Charter. The caravan will take us to the public. The Apataki Charter will help us to talk to the public about public policing. The police have launched their, 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 their magazine, the police or magazine. Yes. And I will use this opportunity to commend mm -hmm. A.S. Pinjai, the police PRO, who is my earlier team contemporary, yes. my very good friend. He's listening. And of course, Mr. Abdullah Sanyang, the most visionary IGP ever in this country. 
very very friendly Abdullah. very humble Abdullah is Sanya Mr. Abdullah is level as brutal no he is not brutal if you don't know the police you don't in, you have not interacted with them Mr. then you will not know them Mr. Abdullah is Sanya is rebel brutal on social media. he is not rebel even though we have no. read his biography that he is law oriented very 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 law oriented but he is not abiding by the law no he is definitely working due cognizant of the laws of the land let me tell you something ba we cannot stop the brouhaha on social media Dijok. we so cannot stop the, the, the discussion centers Dijok. on the so grapevine not your connections with, with the police so that's why you are defending the, no the, 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 the it's yeah. not it's not our connections we had a meaningful chit chat with abdullah sanyang around the police old caravan okay. around the police old album launch event the apataki charter mm -hmm. and we have definitely informed him about what we intend to do mm -hmm. we understand that uh, there should be a very cordial relationship between the police and the civilians mm -hmm. but then the civilians should understand our encounter with abdullah sanyang mm -hmm. was very very fruitful and we took videos of this reality mm -hmm. We couldn't post it on TikTok or on social media because we are waiting for the right time. Okay. Let me tell you something. Abdullah told me plain blank. He said, D Jobs, mm -hmm. I definitely want to reform you know um the police pop, the, the, the police and we understand very well that the, the public are the police and the police are the public he told me the jobs in fact we are coming with you know measures and systems where if a police officer in fact wants to address a civilian he or she will salute for that civilian and then talk to the civilian in lower tones or forms for them to listen to the officer we don't want situ to see situations where civilians will be harassed by police officers. We want to see, you know, a country, a Gambia, where things will change and police will address the civilians with utmost respect. This was a now, when, sign and when are we expecting the negotiation between the masses and the police? Because it's part of your caravan. Soonest. That, uh, you will have that, you know, negotiation between yeah. the masses, yeah. that is the public yeah. and the police officers. That discussion center is what brought about the Apachaki Charter. Okay. Take us through. Very good. What What do you mean by Apachaki Charter? Good. The police old caravan, if it has any major carrier or any major boot, is the Apachaki Charter. Okay. This is a subset of the project and we would allow the caravan to take us to the masses. I said it here because this is going to be a countywide tour wherein we will engage the public. We will talk to them about police brutalities. Of course, the need for us to negotiate. Look, but there is nothing bigger or important than dialogue. So that is the way out. Dialogue is the way out. And I want Gambians to understand that brutal force will never help us. The police are human beings. Those in the military service are human beings. The fire service, the immigration. There is no need for us to look at them with enemy eyes. They are from homes. Let me tell you something. But let the us not be Abdel, I am let coming. Us, let us not be deceived. Yeah, no, no, I am coming. I am coming we to Apache Charter. Charter. No, I am coming. Even in your police album. Yes. I am you made mention it. More yeah. for police Kurum. Kurum. But do you know there are some police within the sector? I mean, Abdullah, in any organization, there is bad ones and good ones okay. that is why organizational behavior is teaching people human beings to understand what we call perception and personality traits okay. organizational behavior is telling us in management that human beings have distinctive characters and perceptions we are from homes so there must be distinctions when it comes to behaviors that is why we have what we call organizational culture, so that we can all meet up in one flora, in one platform to interact based on the cultures of that particular setup. It's very, very obvious that human beings have different characters. So the good ones, just like how we have good ones in our compounds and bad ones, that's the same way we have good ones in the police organization. They are human beings. The only best way we can engage them is dialogue 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 abdullah sanyan have a greater vision the igp and his vision is god liking and glorifying because we had a meaningful chit chat and he has informed us about his plans and he is very happy that nyancho has come up with such a project in fact he told me you people have definitely spoken our minds 
you came up with a project that will definitely help the police to get to the public because if the police should come out to talk to the public in raw formats they will never listen but if you put it into rhymes and rhythms they will listen to you so this could not even have come at a better time than now you have my support says abdullahi you have my support and i am going to champion the police whole caravan any IDP that will tell you something, any IDP that will definitely reassure you his commitments around a project that is glorifying the, the, the is IGP, definitely a good IGP. The, the IGP gave you the ban and he gave you policemen. He gave us every support around the police all album launch event. You shoot those videos. Yeah. That is why, bah, you have seen the greatest album concert ever in this country. The productions, the performances, the deliveries of Nyancho A.K. Apataki and his people. The police ban has never paraded in any album launch event in this country the police have never given any artist a presidential escort in this country a party yeah, but, but yeah, you are promoting the police we expected that <laughs> oh, well, uh, no, it's because of the project and they had come out to support abdullah we have to compliment their efforts the activities around the police or album launch event has oh, informed everybody that the police are not enemies they are the most you know, uh, uh, friendly individuals. Where are we? <laughs> where country. are we seeing Nyancho in the next five years? Well, uh, higher heights. We would see Nyancho at a platform where not only the Peace Choir of Nigeria would want to have a collaboration with him, but even the greatest rock stars you know, in, in, in America, would definitely want to partner with Apataki because of his choreographic nature. If Michael Jackson was alive, he would definitely, he would have loved to dine and wine with Nyancho Apataki. You know why? Why? Because he's the only incomparable artist in this country, the only complete artist, because he has leverage on the choreographic realities of music business. He understood very well that you cannot be a complete artist without utmost entertainment. And the only way you can entertain the music enthusiasts at gross level is choreography. Michael Jackson would have loved to meet Nyancho if he was alive. Uh, D Jobs, let's go back a bit. Yeah. Will you, in one way, want to remanage ST if he have given you the contract? Well, <laughs> D Jobs is in another level. Uh, I am very sorry that that would never be possible. Even if he has requested to have the jobs back, I am working with Apataki. I am that manager who is very proactive, visionary and innovative. I don't want to couple Nyancho's management with any other thing. No, I mean, maybe your contract can end with Nyancho at any time. Well, um, you are given the, the opportunity to, to, well, to remanage this. Board. Like somebody was telling me, said, um, do you have any timeline? You know, because you know, um, of recent, but I have been having so many requests from most of the artists, most of the prominent artists in this country <laughs> regarding <laughs> management contracts. <laughs> yeah, you know, after the police will break through. But I'm like, look, you have to give me a breathing space because I have a very, very, very concrete contract with Nyancho, a.k.a. Apataki. It's a 13 page contract. Very rich. My benefits, the incentives, you know, the remuneration package. I mean, I cannot couple that with anything because music business is difficult. I will tell you that today because usually you only interview politicians. You are from the, you know, uh, the, the world of politicians. But let me tell you something. We are from the spotlight. It's the most difficult, you know, um, universe. You know, where pure competition is the most expensive, you know, business is music business. So um, it needs a lot of enthusiasm, you know, yeah, a lot of, lot of persevere. You know. Now, let's come yeah. to you, Have you, in one way, involved in politics? Politics is everybody's business. Have you in one Mr. Ba, I am coming to you. You have to allow me to learn. Politics okay. is everybody's business. Okay. It is through politics that we go to polls to vote. It's through politics that we decide who will rule us. Okay. It's through politics that we change the leadership. So I am sick and tired of uh, uh, journalists coming up with uh, ulterior motives in, 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 in interview sessions telling me because we've seen the Kufin Kukoi of Nyancho. We've seen those days, you know, of Nyancho and, you know, the former president you know he's a political artist mm. that is because they don't understand two things mm. partisan based ideology and entertainment based ideology we understand very well that the the politic the political surrogates in UDP NPP 
uh, GDP or any political party are also human beings. They are music enthusiasts. It's very obvious that um, if uh, UDP want Nyancho to perform at their platform on pay terms, the jobs cannot say no to that. You know why? why? Because we need monies to operate. We need monies to work on the operational services of Nyancho, aka Apatake. We need monies to, 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 uh, to, to impress the staff in Nyancho Apatake Entertainment Company. We need money to handle our production bills in studios and to engage video directors to shoot our videos. Do you know how much we've spent in the police hall video? It's more than $50,000. Who gave us the money? It's from the music business. In the bookings of Nyancho, the endorsement deals, and other patronages. So if you are telling me Dijof, that we should I, I, not be on political my, platforms, my is not you are just is uh, Dijof Dijof involved in politics? I am fully involved in politics because I am a citizen, and every good citizen should be involved in politics. What is the essence of us uh, having voters card? I mean, I mean, this is common sense. Yeah, the artists of this country are citizens of this country. They are also political beings, apart from their capacity as economic beings. So you cannot tell Nyancho or Jaliba Akwiate not to be involved in politics. Are you in a political party? We will not. Huh? Are you in a political party? Well, I am in a political party, but I will not disclose <laughs> my party okay. to you. Uh, we, 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 we respect that. <laughs> uh, we are in the Ramadan viewers. Uh, this is LST. That's one. right. Uh, our guest today is mm. uh, Dijos. Yes, and don't of forget course. to mention my wife for all this beautification. <laughs> okay, you've okay. seen. Oh, honestly, you know, honestly, I have a wife who is gratitude to her. A lot of respect yes. and regards to Lady Jobs. To Lady, Jobs. <laughs> Lady Jobs, correct. <laughs> Lady Jobs was here to make us the, yes. uh, the table very, very dirty creative and nice. Yeah. Uh, Dijos, yeah. who do you think is the best artist in this country as we speak? Well, I have a philosophy and I will tell you this, you are not the first interviewer that I would spew this reality to. Every artist in any country is a bigger artist to Dijos. Every artist in this country is big in this country. That's my philosophy. There is no artist that is minor. Every major artist began as a minor artist. But then, uh, so, artists, when you call event, we see how events occur. Mm. Some go to Kew City, mm. Manjai Park. Mm. Big artists will go to the stadium. Yeah. And the population in which responds to, to their event, mm. we, we see everything. Yeah. So, in my view, this yeah. is how we get artists. Yeah. Yeah. But then, of no. course, every artist is a big artist. Yes. But we have the great aspects. Mm. Now you are coming. Mm. Every artist is a bigger artist. But then because of gauge aspects in music business and the, domi uh, the, 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 the area dominance and so many of these terms that we have in music business, of course, uh, we cannot rule out the fact that there has to be several kings or one major king. And who is the king? Even though we are not people that believe in those um, uh, titles and those claims. You are not part of them who believe in those Well, titles. we have several kings in this country it is very easy for anybody to claim a king based on your works i don't think we have any expert organization in this country who would tell us okay this particular artist is the greatest artist based on social reasons sometimes we get the crowd and i, I want to use this opportunity in fact to state this reality okay um you know we are people that uh, sometimes the people that we work with on the spotlight would feel uh, we also have which for hunt ulterior in our interview platforms uh, we use our platforms to spew tantrums on certain people no we don't we use our platforms to spew the truth i saw the interview that the sultan had usually i don't even want to give relevance you know up to people in in in, 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 in such like okay, this but then okay. it's very good for you to sometimes quote okay. i saw the sultan's interview with say omar sawane yes. um he is a major sector player in the industry because he works at NCSC as a director of performing arts. Mm -hmm. I have so much respect for him. But then I want to owe them um, the way they have been gauging artists regarding 
um, their diplomatic pass issues and, and, and whatever you know transactions for them to have greater national recognition this is not a proper way of gauging artists in terms of diplomacy you know and, and, and certain Where recognitions very good yes i am coming i am coming um telling people that we get artists because of the crowd that they pull at independent stadiums or any other venue is definitely not the best way of gauging artists in terms of their capacities to have whatever national recognition or whatever diplomatic pass. I want them to look into that very well. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Can you give us a suggestion yes. for yes. you? How do you think we will gauge artists in terms of their diplomatic relations? Well, we will gauge them based on the level of entertainment that they are giving to the masses. Bro, there are entertainments or certain types of entertainments that are crippled entertainments in this country. There are certain artists that are also cheats in the way they do business. By that I would mean the, the type of songs that they give to the public. Yeah, if you don't give good songs to the public, if you cheat the, 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 you know, the, the, the public by make, giving them, you know, um, substandard songs, you know, uh, improper productions, I mean, that is, that, is, that, that is cheating. We have artists that are giving Gambians utmost entertainment. Artists that are one, but they have four qualities. The likes of Nyancho and, and several other artists. You know, so we have to consider those realities. We have Jaliba Kuyate here. He has never pulled more than 20,000 people at the independent stadium. You want to tell me Jaliba is a minor artist? Jaliba. No, he is not a minor artist. He's a king in the country. He's a king in the country. And he has never pulled 20,000 people, more than 20,000 people at the independent stadium. So do, I mean, it doesn't make sense for you to gauge the capacity of that artist, the level of that artist, the, 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 the Vigo aspect of that artist based on the crowd that is converged at a particular venue. Let me tell you something. But, but, but I, I don't know. Allow me to learn. Afro Manding, if you look at Jaliba's case, and yeah. the Afro Manding that uh, Nyancho yeah. is doing yeah. can be different. So Nyancho, I believe, is an Afro Manding artist. Yeah, I am, I am coming. Okay. I am coming. What I'm uh, trying to state here is mm -hmm. Jaliba is a major artist in this country. That's fact. In all aspects. Basically, you don't wait until Jaliba amass 30,000 people at the independent stadium for you to give him a diplomatic pass. I mean, it's, 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 it's absolute bogus. It doesn't make sense. And I mean, Jaliba has the greatest breakthroughs in this country in, in, in terms of cultural exports, in, in terms of peak traditional music, in terms of values, in terms of good craft, in terms of substance, in terms of records, greater experience. Brother, we should not take this industry to be an industry for cartoon characters or great comedians. The music industry is a major industry and it should be the most serious industry in this country. Of all the different industries that we have, arts is prof uh, very profound. Let me tell you the reality because for far too long, we cannot have cartoon characters you know, great uh, um, uh, uh, dramatists in our industry playing greatest comedy on our platforms. So the, for you, let, yeah. you to understand. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense. The is restricted to some artists and been given to some artists. Yeah, based on, based on gauges based that are on, not... Based on crap. That, I mean, yeah. That are... Yeah, that's why I said. Based on gauges that are not right gauges. Look, uh, did, but, your, did your artists have a, a diplomatic pass? Well, well not, not, not yet. Not yet, but um, have, you claimed, this, have you claimed? No, no, no. We, we've we've never requested, but I know obviously he is going to have it. You know, when the police are in fact ready to give him merit of excellence as the greatest artist ever in this country in terms of uh, um, um, public, uh, 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 in terms of creating a good relationship between the, the security and the public, in terms of giving the public what they definitely need to need, need, need to have. So um, in the soonest possible time, he definitely should have that. Yeah. So you look at. In, in terms of gauges, you look at situations like that, Mr. Ba. Yeah, the hype Nyanjo has created over the police all album launch event. The content of the project, the, the, the value of police all album launch, if, uh, album launch, the police all album, I mean the project, the activities around the album. How many senior officials have we visited around the police all album launch event? On cordial dialogue, you know, on good relationship building. 
on interactions to know what are the problems of the police what are some of the things that they need how can the police uh, public accept the police how can the public be responsible in terms of crime reductions these are all discussion areas within the police whole album project you want to tell me um, uh, of all these activities around the police whole album launch event you know and the project itself um, is these activities not genuine enough for Nyancho aka Apataki to be given a diplomatic pass is the police whole project not you know genuine enough a genuine evident that would warrant the state to give Nyancho a diplomatic pass is definitely a genuine project all right all right uh, yeah. Nyancho should be given a diplomatic pass yeah. according to his manager Nyancho that's, that's really and he's going to have it in the soonest pass. possible time and for him those yeah. responsible for giving diplomatic pass yeah should uh, uh, redo or should revisit the manner in which they give uh, a diplomatic pass to yeah. major artists we have major artists in this country yeah uh, that's the reality that this is the truth yeah uh, we have the likes of st nyancho uh Zijol, Gizu, attack attack you know um uh, as a manager of nyancho yeah let us just be honest yeah where do you put nyancho where well, do you put nyancho in this uh the most pop artist in this country well i put nyancho at a very very profound and recognizable level you know at a very high profile level um, I put Nyancho at a level where I frame him as a world-class trophy um, a trophy that everybody would definitely love to invest in so that you can yield profit and gain meaningful recognition I put Nyancho um, at a level where I frame him as the greatest artist in this country because he is the only complete artist in this country, the most versatile when it comes to his different qualities. The singer, the rapper, the choreographer, and the dancer who has four qualities in this in this industry. Which artist has these four qualities? It's only Nyancho. So in terms of all we know, they said he can dance. Yeah, yeah. he has four qualities. But I want you to, you know, be a me, please. I want you to listen very carefully. That is why you are not giving me number. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you are not from the spotlight. I am the man from the spotlight, and I want you to I listen want to you me to very give well. Give me a number. Yes. Let number me give you five. I have given you. I have given you four qualities of Nyancho, and you want me to give you five major artists in this country. <laughs> of course, if you are to mention five major artists in this country you will mention Nyancho but like again I said I don't want to mention a particular artist when another artist is been left out how would that artist feel let me tell you something you'll be very surprised that apart from Nyancho my favorite artist in this country is not even an artist that we so often see on the spotlight yeah and do you know who that artist is who is that? Atenola Bondi Aten do you know Atenola Atenola Atenola. Do you know Atenola? I, I used to hear Atenola. <laughs> but he's in the dark now. Atenola, I think he started with... That is why I said you are from the political world, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you are friends. You know, you people are friends of politicians. Look, any major guru from the spotlight will tell you Atenola is one of the greatest artists in this country when it comes to just a position of lyrical content. That is also um, another style in music business. And if you talk about just a position, but, but Jobs, you will talk about Atenola and G. You why, know, that's a why, style that I like. Did and I why have to tell are you, you not mentioning ST within the five? Well, no, I did not mention anybody within the five. I said you mentioned Atenola. Yeah, no, 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 you no, no. No, no, no. You, you definitely missed the point. And I want to come again. I said mm. if I want to mention here five major artists. Mm. Of course, I'll mention Nancho, mm. and it's very obvious I'll mention ST, Jezul, Attack. But then, mm. I don't want to mention five major artists mm. without mentioning certain other artists. Because as a music businessman and experienced guru in this industry, um, you know, people feel, artists and their fans feel uncomfortable about those things. Mm. Because today, I would prefer giving more courage, more motivation, more words of wisdom to the uprising artist than major artists. You know why? Why? Because I believe that every major artist began as an uprising artist. And if we should give any platform of recognition, we should give it to the uprising ones who are trying to come up. Time, we should time, give them all time, opportunities time, and platforms time, time. To, to showcase their talents. Uh, yeah. Jobs, you are a young 
uh, individual who a lot of people look up to. Uh, there was that there is a lot of hula ball about the just people say a lot of things about it. Uh, I want you to talk to the young people. Mm -hmm. How were you able to manage? How were you able to, to, to put yourself in order? That's right. I mean, to, 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 to bring that dignity to life. Yeah. To face media and talk to people again. <laughs> to manage people. In fact, to manage one of the most top artists in this country. Well, they said DJ is, is, is the greatest artist in this country. This talk greatest to manager. my young people, my viewers. <laughs> most of them are young individuals. Yeah. I want you to yeah. inspire. I know Playa is bad boy of Banjuli be saying that that's why I said he's the baddest manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you put that on your t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, baddest manager. Yeah, and, and that's the reality. And um, this title was given to me by Plyas Bad Boy and MC Danan Are you in competition? Of, of the former city stars. Are you in competition? With Every you? music businessman is in a competitive spotlight. I am from the world of spotlight. I am from the spotlight, uh, the world of fame, the world of competition, the world of innovation, the world where cohesiveness is a major case, the world where if you are not innovative and proactive as a manager, you will be out of the line. Talk to my youth. Yes. Talk and that is why everybody is like, he is the deal. Yeah. So I will talk to them. Um, the enthusiasm has to be in you. Sam Ademe said, as the man thinks inside, so is he. Your inner instincts, mm -hmm. your attitude, not your aptitude determines your altitude. Yes, I have several adages that I believe in. And when I read Momodu Sabali's Instant Success, mm -hmm. a book that has given me a new outlook of life, I will never forget this. And I look up to Momodu Sabali today as my greatest idol in this country. He is a legendary icon. Momodu Sabali has groomed me. He has changed my belief. He has changed my philosophy. And he has changed my life unknowingly. All these happened before I met Momodu Sabali. I read his book, Instant Success, you know, where I also um, saw his quotes from Napoleon Hill and so many other prominent, you know, philosophers. And I believe in our prominent management scientists, Henry Fayol, Henry Grant, Frederick Wenslow Taylor, our greatest motivator or motivational theorist, Abraham Maslow. So these are beliefs. You know, I have my management tools that I worship, my dear. <laughs> so the enthusiasm is key, determination, belief in yourself, you know, and try to have the verbal vertigo. The auditory aspect is key. Try to get the required education, adequate education, I mean, and, you know, be that person who would always be willing to learn, especially where you have passion for. If you have passion for the industry, you cannot be the jobs overnight. It has to take you some several stages because I do not just start this, you know, yeah, Pam, the baddest manager, no, it started some 17, 18 years ago, 2006, and this very moment, 2022, uh, 2022, how many years? So <laughs> we spent our entire life in music business. We've created so many platforms for this business. South so high profile movement, the first movement that I've established in Brikama to empower ST. So we've been through so many things. The Hukon movement, a movement that was once created in Brikama for us to support the Brikama art artists. That is where the Brikama Boyo ideology, the Brikama representation, and so many things came from. So if I would urge music enthusiasts, young ones that look up to me, I will urge them first to be educated, to have enthusiasm, to believe in themselves to think big, yeah, to believe that they can change lives, to also believe that you do not need to have millions to be relevant, yeah, I don't need to have millions to be relevant as a human being. Yeah, you've read scriptures, isn't it? Yeah. The Bible and the Quran. <laughs> when God talked about relevance, he did not say no. The most relevant and the most important amongst you is not the one that has millions. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is the one who knows who. Who loves God. God and teaches others. Yes. And the one who believes in what? God, God. And doesn't commit polytheism. Yeah. The one who is faithful. And who is with the conviction that all fortunes are from who? Allahu Alam. So let them believe that all these treasures and diamonds are not the greatest deals. Brother, the greater deal is proper education, good experience, belief, 
in yourself. Education is very key, of course. Education is very key, as we yeah. used to say. Mm. Uh, a nation whose young men and women are in constant rate of slumber will never realize our potence. Uh, today, our guest was the jobs. The jobs. Thank you for having you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>